This time around will be very different. This was San Remo Road in Aspliguise in Bedfordshire on VE Day. On Friday, the residents of San Remo Road will be doing it again, but this time at, shall we say, a sociable distance. We're going to have a VE Day picnic with a difference. People are going to party from their doorsteps. Picnics are being made for the vulnerable so they can join in. It's going to be a nod to the one that we had on 75 years ago on this street, but we'll be waving at each other rather than dancing together. Victory in Europe was declared on this day in 1945. Communities everywhere celebrated with street parties. Among them, the village of Aspley Guys in Bedfordshire. Of course, they couldn't celebrate in the same way today, but that didn't stop them coming together. Let's go live now to Helen Mulroy. Helen. Yes, Amelia, well, it's certainly quietened down a little bit by now, but earlier the party really was in full swing here. Now, San Remo Road here in Bedfordshire was the scene of a huge street party back on the 8th of May 1945, and some very rare cine film footage captured those celebrations. And there actually, if you can believe it, were three residents that lived on the road then that still live here now, Mary, Maureen and June. Well, earlier today, I caught up with two of those residents, Mary and Maureen, as they came out to celebrate this huge milestone from the socially appropriate distance of their front doors. Bunting's been hung, the garden furniture brought out, and there's tea and cakes aplenty. On San Remo Road in Bedfordshire, they're marking the anniversary of VE Day, exactly as they did here 75 years ago. The street party here in May 1945 was captured in this rare cine film. It's some of the only footage that exists of a VE Day celebration in the east of England. Mary lived here then, and she's still here now. She was 12 in 1945 and remembers that day. There was great excitement in the village. I can remember them fetching all the chairs and tables and so out and making arrangements. Really, it went on all day and all evening. In fact, I don't think we went to bed after the kids at night that night, you know. Maureen has also lived here on this road all her life. She remembers the sense of relief. Oh, the celebrations down here was marvellous because there was people from the street that were in the, in the war, you know, so they were glad to get home. For Betty, whose brother Charlie died in the Second World War, the 75th anniversary of VE Day is an important milestone. We should remember them because they tried to look after us in the war. You know, like the other brothers, they was in the, the war, but they all survived, but... Charlie didn't. And for those organising today's socially distant festivities, it's been made all the more special by the current coronavirus crisis. The war was about keeping communities and keeping places safe, and that's what we've continued to do. You know, my children were involved in making decorations, in making food for the day. They really understand why we were doing it. About, it's about community. Despite the current difficulties, this is a community that's united now, as it did then. So Helen, I bet the atmosphere today was, was beautiful, wasn't it? It really was, Amelia. There genuinely was a really festive atmosphere here today. They had loudspeakers out playing Vera Lynn. At 1.30 everyone came out, had their sandwiches and their scones. Even an ice cream van turned up and people queued up at two metres. The police even popped by, but they seemed perfectly happy to see people enjoying today's uh, celebrations from the social distance of their front gardens and their front lawns. Now, we know that these scenes have been repeated across the country and there are still a few people behind me enjoying this very warm May evening. Whether they'll make it to the National Sing Along at nine o'clock, I'm not sure. Thanks so much, Helen.